You know, it occurs to me, I never actually got around to reading the actual description of the newspaper itself. A page from the famous, and only, galactic newspaper, Peace of Truth. It has been published for a long period of time, and is distinguished by honesty, openness, good absorbency, and softness of paper, which makes it an indispensable piece of trashy literature after a hearty dinner. So, let's see, what's... What's on the old menu today? Vampire Cat Terrorizes the Inhabitants of Mars Here's some alarming news from the Red Planet again. A resident of Settlement 12 informed our newspaper that her ex-husband was attacked by a real vampire cat which sucked up all his blood. According to the woman, she awoke from some terrible screams and strange sounds. When she ran out into the street, she saw a cat running away and a hill of sand where the cat had been digging something. After digging for a bit, she saw some tiny, dehydrated rema brown remains. Judging by the color, the remains belonged to her husband, a lover of quality sunbathing. The remains are being examined at this moment. Wow. Well, I hope that they can rehydrate him. And, uh, is, is there more? Yeah, there's more on the back. Well, that gives us something for next time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Breath Edge. So, let's try not to repeat the derp of yesterday. Let's start out nice and strong with two handy scrappers. And let's go finish looting that mail truck, I think. That seems to be our most promising lead at the moment. I also had an idea. I noticed that um, while I was editing the video, I saw that some of the little nodules on the asteroids don't look like they're ice. They look like they might be something else. So I'll be investigating that in a little bit if this doesn't go anywhere promising. So... There we go. Alright, we've got ooh, a whole oxygen generator. Goodness! This thing is loaded up with some good, good stuff. Oh, well. They can't all be... Light bulb! We needed another light bulb! Let's get going. Yeah, got back with plenty of time. So, with that light bulb, we should be able to make another little piece of... Yeah, there it is. So I need a battery and plastic. It is very nice having my crafty crap all in one place. Don't even need to crawl over the counter for it. Alright. A chest-mounted, battery-powered flashlight. It doesn't shine for long, it constantly discharges, but if you put it in your mouth, your cheeks will turn red, which makes it an extremely useful piece of equipment. Flashlight power, plus 25, sign me up. Should wait, did it? It do, see? Over on his shoulder there. Neat. So, uh, ah, I see a little chargey charge. Well, F is start pissing everywhere. So how do I... Ah, middle mouse click. Okay, neat. Oh, that's... I got some headlights on me. How fast does it charge down? It looks like I can only use it when I'm standing inside. It goes for a pretty, pretty long time. Neat. And it charges very quickly. So that's a pretty good flashlight. All right, let's continue looting the uh, the mail truck. It has availed me well so far. Yes, more nice, lovely, big brown boxes. Get opened. Another oxygen candle. That looks like another suitcase. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They have got very lovely, lovely equipment. Nice, nice. I think I need to get going again. 
really need some better air tank on me. Or faster movement speed or something. Looks like I've got, I've got the time. Okay, let's, uh, I got another suitcase, right? So let's kind of just clear out the table space. Will. What a loud headline. But the probability of the liner crashing due to a terrorist attack is 65%. Oh, wow. That low. Neat. But yes, I can re-examine those in the, uh, in the collection. So that's no big deal. Let's just put it right... yeah. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in that. Sort of away all my inventory. You know what? I can put the oxygen generators in there. And maybe I can put, like, some spare food, water... Yeah, that's all kind of... that's food, water, and air. That's the three basic resources right there. Three... three basic food groups. So let's manufacture us another handy scrapper. That was the one. Of, yeah, yeah. Just need another one. Maybe I should store some of these oxygen candles as well. Yeah, third one. Carry three with me. That should be sufficient and lovely. What secrets do you hold? You you just have a bunch of metal. They can't all be winners. Is there... Oh, I can use my flashlight out here. I guess it just didn't work in the airlock? Plastic rubber. Um, it's looking like the mail truck. Am I... What the heck? A shawarma? Uh... Neat. I, I guess that that wait did it say I unlocked something? I was more distracted by the shawarma, which I thought was green and had a tail. I, I guess we'll see. All right, let's uh, let's see what's up here. Okay, until recently she ran around and gnawed the wiring. I got some new recipe. Accelerator. A complex device for outputting accumulated gases to accelerate the body in weightlessness. Oh, we're, we're doing a Simpsons reference. Ineffective when used on a healthy stomach. Oh. So... We're, we're using that shawarma and uh, some piss water. In order to give ourselves, to give ourselves, uh, to give ourselves accelerant. Biological accelerant. And this looks like it's just a, a suction cup that I'm going to shove right on up there to use it. Yep. That, I don't think it, oh wait, 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 yeah, it, it affected something. Yeah. It's a little thing on the side of his, uh, box here. Well, well, ah, yes, I got another new HUD element. Neat! We'll see how that do. Alright, so, my next lead that I was thinking of is I need to check out the asteroids. See what's up with all the nodules. Make sure that they aren't all ice. So, I'm all charged up. How do I... Is it control? No, that's down. Is it shift? Ooh! We've got gas boosters. Just not the right type of gas. Or the very right type of gas. I suppose it's biologically safe. Yeah, so this is ice. This is all ice. And... Yeah, I can just smash that with my smashy. But I saw a couple of nodules. Where were they? That is, um... That looks like it's more... Of the alkali. But I saw one that was, like, flat and silvery. 
just while I was editing video, while I was editing episode two, I, I, was, I saw one and I was like, oh, that looks weird. I guess... Could it maybe be some of those down there? Yeah, that's what I saw. Aluminum supply... Oh, well. Our problem is solved. We've solved the supply issue. I just need to find a couple of those things. That is much easier than bashing the little balls of gravel. Oh my god. I just need to hunt for those. That's beautiful. And I can move so much faster now. Life is getting good. And I can kind of uh, more efficiently spread out my boost just doing little bursts. Because then it takes time to decelerate back down, whereas I accelerate almost immediately. Three pieces of aluminum. Oh my god, that feels heavenly. You know what? Let's gather some more. Let's get a nice supply. Just so that we can bask in our riches. Is that one over there? It do. That's wonderful. Let's find one or two more of those things. Just looking for any irregularities on the surface of the meteorites. Meteorites is, uh, I think, yeah, meteorites have the right stuff, because they're very meaty, and they managed to survive a fall through the atmosphere. These things have never touched atmosphere in their life. Oh, life feels so wonderful right now. All right. So, I believe... That that should solve quite a lot of our problems. Yeah, I should be able to... I now have enough aluminum to make the space suit. And I only need one for that. But, um... I can make myself the grabber. I need battery wire refined metal. That's easy. Battery wire refined metal. And with the grabber, I'll have the capability to get the glass for the helmet. Just gonna need to run on right down to the to the ice hole. And uh, da, 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 what else am I gonna need? Lead paint. So that lead paint, I've found one piece of it already, just at the smuggler's den, and he was down next to a big ship full of paint, but I couldn't quite get there. So I think I need. Another oxygen station or two, which I can now build. And, uh, well, let's, let's first of all not screw ourselves out of this. So I need to set aside, I need to set aside five aluminum. Dun, 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 dun. Right, so I have this many aluminum to play with just for my own personal use now. And I won't screw myself out of victory conditions. Hello. Oh, we can just make yellowish water out of ice if we ever need it. That's nice. So, to make this lead paint, I'm going to need to paint paint in lead. That makes sense. Uh, but... Yes, I'm going to need to get over to the thang. So, let's get on over to the thang. It ain't no thang. And I'm gonna take an oxygen generator with me, just because I think that the station near there... No, that one is relatively full. Well, I'll, I'll keep one on me anyway, just for when I go over to the ice zone, because that's the one that's almost empty. Yeah. So let's... Let's go! And, yes, I, I do realize that I got distracted by shiny things and I put my oxygen stations in very inefficient areas. 
I have shamed my family. But that's life. We now have a bit more resources that uh, our previous our previous sins have been absolved just by the uh, plenty of building more shit. God, just doing occasional little boosts we got here with so much more time. It doesn't seem like it, it... It doesn't seem like it's as good as it should because the charge is so low and it lasts for so little time, but by God, it actually is good. So yeah, this is looking like more of the paint that splashed around the smuggler ship, so this must be the paint zone. Oh, and that, it's a no Wi-Fi signal. Babe mentioned that her signal is not getting through the area, so this area must be coated down with a bunch of shielding. Like it has lead in it. I get what the hint's about. A large accumulation of toxic colorant has been discovered. If you find a container with this substance, you may receive irreversible brain damage and also improve the anti-radiation protection of the spacesuit. So it's a win-win. I'll be too stupid to realize my fate, and I'll be... I'll, I'll stop having cancer. I'm not seeing a downside. What is this? It looks like a tank with paint. Sure do. So that's lead. Neat. Let's get the station down. Confirm. And now we just can cozily explore this entire area almost at our leisure. It's wonderful. Ooh, very abstract. I could see this selling for a hundred million dollars as part of a money laundering project. Because that's essentially what modern art is, you know. So, getting plenty of lead, I'm not seeing much in the way of paint. seeing lots of metal meatballs around. There's been lots of lead meatballs around. Those are some big chunker containers. Can I even break those? I don't think so. Maybe it's a good thing that I bought that that I brought that oxygen battery after all. We might have need of it if I continue to be blind. In my defense, everything here is kind of the same color. It's been painted over. I mean, that's probably more than enough lead. Let's see if we can find some paint in this big bucket of paint that were inside. So, he said this looked like a tank with paint. Do I smashy? Yeah, I should I should just be able to like break off chunks of this paint, shouldn't I? Or something? I know it's froze and that makes it worthless, but we can thaw it. We don't need to have an expensive suit, we just need to have one that makes us believe that we can fly. And let's go into the maw of the beast. And maybe that will avail us of something. It's big and goopy. It's a very interesting visual. 
but where's something I can use? What is that? That is nothing. That looks like just a chunk of paint that I should be able to just shove down my gullet. Drink it like I'm a hungry Chinese kid, but no. Oh, it has specular reflection on it, and that's very neat. I can kind of see myself in it. Anything in the big old tanker? Oh, hello, hello! Paint! So now we know the look for the big Pollock splashes. There they are. And can you blame me for missing those? They kind of they kind of get washed out in the ambient glow, which I guess the flashlight really helps with that. Neat. You know what I got? I've probably got enough, to be honest. Let's just zoom past and see if we can find one or two more. Yeah. Now we gotta skedaddle. We have all the skis to daddle. Let's just charge her up. Oof. It just balloons back up. That's amazing. If I if I can completely top up before it finishes charging, neat. So yeah, that charge is a full refill, and it will go until it's full. So uh, fill up while it's filling up. That's good to know. All right, so I should have enough lead paint now. All I'm going to need to do is take another swing by the ice hole and uh, get a couple pieces of glass and I think we'll be golden. I guess I should have brought two oxygen batteries, but I wasn't expecting to have to hunt around in the paint tank so much. Still, there should be enough here for me to get one last refill. And if we ever need to come by this area again, we know to bring a battery. But I don't think we're ever going to need to come by this area again. Maybe I should disassemble the oxygen. No. No. Let's, let's leave them as a monument to our progress and as a indicator of where our hubris has taken us. Yes. Alright. And we got some new items, so you know what that means. Paint! Some kind of paint. It's a mystery why someone would need it. Maybe it has some unique composition, like having some bifidobacterium. Lead element of the 14th group of the 6th period of the periodic system of chemical elements by D.I. Mendeleev. With atomic number 82. This is not a joke. N no, it's not. That's, that's nice. You're very smart. Thank you. Let's just mix it all in the lead paint. Did I? I'm not sure if... I, I can't have gotten even ratio. Just, yeah, no. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I got one paint too many. But damn, I was close. I almost got it perfect by sheer mistake. Okay, and is that... Let's see, that's lead paint. Yeah, we have way more lead paint than we need. So I'm just going to need a single piece of glass and a roll of fabric, which... Let's take out the lead paint. You know what? Let's combine some of those rubbers. Yeah. Rubber just takes up so much damn space. Maybe I should make a new drill. Eh, nah. Drill's kind of used rarely. Alright. Hmm. Let's... No. Let's just... 
put the stuff in the new... It's fine. It's not quite on theme. Paint is kind of a food anyway. When you're determined enough. Thick electrical tape is what I need. Yes, it was. So I need refined metal and a plastic. And yes, I do have an oxygen generator in storage, but why waste? Okay. And yes, I'm, I'm just literally getting that oxygen station so that I can um, plop it down even closer to the glass if I need it. Yes, interesting. Grabber has a... Does that really need a battery? I guess it do. You know what? I'll fill her up on the way back. That way she ends up fully charged. Just waiting for it. And, uh, yeah, let's just line up with, uh, one of them warm glows that we can still barely see. Okay. So, I only need one piece of glass, but I'm gonna get a couple. What? Oh, I wasn't wielding the grabber. Click, click, click. And that's probably enough. If I need more, this is no longer a terribly long trip. Let's go. Oh, this is exciting. We finally make plot progress. Suit gave us an open-ended mission and we solved it. Suit is being mysteriously silent about the issue, seething that we're actually going to survive. Yep. Let's completely drain it. And then... Start charging. And just leave that to its own devices. I would have crashed into that. Thank goodness the ice doesn't go forever and we immediately thaw. Which really isn't how space should work. That's even less how space should work than the fact that everything freezes immediately. But shit that's frozen should remain frozen. The, the, the real way that space works is everything remains at the temperature that it is, and heat has trouble going anywhere, you know? Alright. Let us get this issue resolved. So, roll of fabric. Uh, the fabric. That's going to require four pieces of fabric. I have three. Time to eat our pillow. Bite the pillow, I'm going in dry. Okay. Uh, two lead paint, four aluminum. Let's just get all of our aluminum back out. Two lead paint. And I think it was one more lead paint for the helmet. The protection level against radiation is still insufficient for the flight to the evac point. You still need to improve the equipment or click exit game in the menu of your spacesuit, which will solve all your problems. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, now all I need is a piece of plastic. Oof. This feels good. Feel good. Due to the high toxicity level of the renewed painting of the spacesuit, the probability of your death from radiation is now lower than the probability of death from the suit itself. In this regard, you can fly to the evacuation point. Neat. So, woof. We get a fancy headset. If you don't learn physics in school and you screw some special lead antennas to the helmet, they can help in protecting you from radiation. Although thicker glass will be even more effective. 
The enhanced spacesuit is the same as the regular spacesuit, except painted with lead paint for greater moral support against radiation. Do not use while pregnant. It turns our arms red. And that's it. That's the extent of our changes. That's all we need to go through the radiation zone. So, I think I'd like one more oxygen station just to just to make sure that we can go all the way. Did I? Yes. And thick electrical tape. Because I got the space for it for once. You know what? It occurs to me. We might be leaving the ship. I'm sure we'll be able to come back. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to be able to come back. But let's... Let's do a sweep for any more lore we're missing. Love. The chicken was passed on in our family from generation to generation, but she loved Grandpa even more than worms, I think. And Grandpa... Always return the affection. Aww. Man, 2030. <laughs> I've always been good looking, although my beard was not as thick in my childhood. By the age of three, it got better. Look at those eyebrows. Look at that. Five kilogram, 13.02 slash centimeter question mark. 30. Hmm. Harry the cat was my first and last pet. He was a proud and a good one. Even the chicken respected him, I, I guess. At least she attacked me more than him. That's freaking adorable. Also tells us that at least some aspects of this world's culture are the same as ours. Hmm... Let's at least take the picture with Grandpa with us. I think that if I did lose all the lore and if I'm not able to come back, that's maybe the one thing I'd like to take with me the most lore-wise. Everything else is ultimately... Can we just take this now that it was scanned? I guess not. Alright. Let's get going! Maybe I should stop by the ice hole oxygen station one last time. That would... It looks like it's kind of the closest to being on the way. Then it'll be awkward working around the ice zone, though. Mm, we can kind of skirt around the edges. It's, it's clear out the left side, so even if my view ices over, I can just kind of boost around the ice steroids and uh, work my way in the general direction. Now our radiation is still going up. Not as much though, I think. Still, maybe that indicates that there are areas that are still locked to us. I just kind of swing around the ice zone as best I can. Or maybe the ice zone is going to continue all the way and it's... And I should be going through the area because that's where all the heaters will be. Well, we'll find out if this is a decision that'll result in horrible death shortly. Just kind of remember that my view is clear, look around a little bit to see if I can spot any debris and just keep on going till I'm through. The presence of such an amount of cooling gel is strange. Such a composition was outdated more than 10 years ago and is not produced on any planet. Hmm. 
That's not funny. That's just intriguing. So this is an outdated ship? They're using contraband cooling gel? The captain's bridge is detected ahead. The evacuation should be led from there. But there are no signals or movement detected in this area. Probably everyone died. Yeah, no danger from anyone. Because they're all dead. Okay. Let's... What the hell? Where did oxygen station go? Oh, well. Did I bounce off the oxygen station? I can't see Jack. This is gonna result in horrible death. I should have brought a bottle of alcohol. At least then I can die drunk. Yeah. Well, this is probably gonna be our first death. No, wait. Second oxygen station. Very wasteful. Save me. So I'm not moving. What? Am, why am I still drifting? I was holding the brake. Why is it drifting? I pressed nothing but my mouse button. I braked. I deployed the station and now it's just gone. And I cannot see well enough to tell where it is. Well, we're doomed. We should have just gone through the ice field. It looks like it's so close. But I can't navigate to it. It's probably through a wall and I just can't see. Well, oh, hello, oxygen station? No, you're... Quite a distance away. Yeah, I think we're doomed. Yep. Yep, we're doomed. Are we doomed? We're quite tough. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, this whole trip has been fraught. Run. Book it. See if there are any heat lamps that I can spy. Just trust the fact that there will be oxygen at the other end. But yes, let, let that... Babe, I see next to your captain's bridge. It's fine. Communication with the bridge is not there. I'll die. To access the bridge, you need the code admin123. There's a button with the inscription, kill all passengers. Perception the incorrect localization sounds extremely convincing. The information on the captain's bridge is classified in the database. Therefore, it is recommended to ignore this value of advice and act according to the situation. Suit, you interrupted me. And I don't have time to search in the logs right now because, uh... There is no oxygen near here, is there? We're still doomed. Yep. We're just running down all the warnings now. Oh, actually, hello. The captain's bridge was badly damaged, but the main systems are still functioning properly. Oh, we have air. Wonderful, glorious, tasty air. The door is locked. If you manage to get inside, there is a chance to send a distress signal to the nearest planet, or at least kick the course with the captain who allowed this to happen. Both would be pretty appreciated right now, suit. Not gonna lie.
I'm just kind of grateful to be live. So, uh, message log, encyclopedia journal, messages, babe. Uh, that's... I see next to your captain's bridge. It's fine. Communication with the bridge is not there. All die. To access the bridge, you need the code admin123. There is a button with the inscription, kill all passengers. If you press it, uh, you, you press it. Only do not be scared. She does not kill anyone. It's just the wrong localization of the game. I wait for help and hope for yours. <sighs> Scan. Yeah. Someone drilled into this thing. Oh. I need a handy scrapper. Okay. Good thing we always build too. <laughs> okay. So it's powered up. Enter password. <laughs> Take the key. An ordinary key from some cheap lock. You can open or close something with it, or you can lose it and open the lock with your finger. It's strange that the captain's bridge is locked with such a piece of junk. Well. Oh, exciting. What? Oh. Welcome back aboard, Captain. System active engines online. Launch. Launch? Okay. Neat. Let's go. <laughs> that figures. And it's for the best anyway. Sure will, Suit. Sure will. I'm using the most painless suicide methods for you, a slight decrease of the background radiation was noticed. Surprisingly, your attempt to break the liner could lead to positive results. I could find out the nature of this phenomenon, but for that, I would need to disclose some confidential information of the Breath Edge Company, which contradicts the security protocol, so not a single spacesuit AI will disclose this information to you. So you're saying we need to ask multiple spacesuit AIs at the same this time. This information is extremely necessary for us. There are a lot of stupid spacesuits with dead carriers floating around, so nobody will even know if you resort to the good old torture method, like the drill. Hmm. Get the information with a drill. Well, we got a couple of drills on our hands right now. So we just need to find a stupid spacesuit. 